keep it simple and just mow. I know it's been a minute since I posted a video. I had a lot going on between my trip to New York in which I saw the 9-11 memorial for the first time and I had a great time. Of course, everything was super expensive, but man, that hot dog was top notch. So I missed the New York hot dogs. So between that and then I had a lot of hours put into work, there was really no work-life balance and the lawn unfortunately took a secondhand back seat. And right before my busy schedule, I did something which you're not supposed to do and that scalp the lawn down to as low as I can go and put down the plant growth regulator. And unfortunately the lawn was neglected, it didn't grow much and the cutting was reduced. I did water it a little bit here and there, but you can see different parts of my lawn. I'm suffering from seed heads. I still have this spot over here that I have to try to fill in. I'm also dealing with weeds, mostly nuts edge. So I'm gonna show you the one thing that I'm gonna do in order to bring this back. One of the most important things that I'm gonna do right now is step up my mowing. Mowing is gonna do a few things for me. The most important thing is encourage the grass to fill in those bare spots much faster. Depending on your height of cut, whether you keep it at one, two, or three inches, that's gonna determine how often you mow along with the amount of fertilizer you're gonna put down. Because I'm mowing at a lower height of cut, I'm gonna have to come out and mow roughly about every two to three days. But if you're keeping your height of cut at 1.52 inches, which is the typical homeowner grade height of cut, you're probably gonna come out and mow once a week, maybe twice a week, depending on your fertilization schedule. So I'm gonna mow and step it up just a little bit more. And after my first mowing, you can see the grass has slowly begun to transform. And then on my second mowing, you can see the grass right here. It is starting to look a little bit more healthier. I, you probably can't see it on camera, but I can definitely see it. And here's a shot of the grass after my third mowing. Now, in regards to the spot right here in which I'm trying to fill in, if you recall, I installed or expanded my drainage pipe under this spot right here. And I'm gonna make sure the spot is not dry. I'm probably gonna put down a little bit of liquid fertilizer and I'm just gonna make sure that the ground is not too hard and compacted. If you have full sun and you have good drainage, your spots will fill in, so I'm not too concerned about this. You can see how the grass is starting to reach over in order to fill in. Now about the seed heads, there's really nothing I can do about the seed heads. I'm just gonna continue to mow and over time those seed heads will slowly start to disappear.